everyone. Welcome back to RTS and welcome back to 15 minute mixer. Yes, because I have, <laughs> I have a pile here that I need to address. And I thought, why not set the timer for 15 minutes, see how much I can get done or just get motivated to get started to get this done. And sometimes that's what it is when I set the timer for 15 minutes. It's just to get me motivated to get going with whatever I need to do. So before I do that, I need to give away something. Yes, because I had uh, a hidden giveaway, a hidden giveaway in one of my start to finish videos, and it was for these lovely Disney goodies. And so the uh, requirement was that you had the more you had to mention the word Disney in your comment. So I had you to pick a random comment, uh, and so that was Vicky. Mifflin. So Vicki Mifflin, you are the winner of these Disney goodies. So have fun with those Vicki and look below. My email address will be listed below. So uh, send me an email and give me your address and I'll get these goodies out to you. Absolutely. And also too, I had a few embellishments left over and some Mickey heads. I will put that in your package for you. So yes, absolutely. So let's set the timer for 15 minutes and let's address something in our space, okay? And so this is what I'm working on because in our summer space shape up round two, one of the, uh, the listing, one of the options we could do was set the timer for 15 minutes and just address a pile. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I have a pile of paper and I need to address it. So let's get the timer started and let's hit L start out. Yes, 15 minutes. <laughs> yes, and let's see how much I can get done. Absolutely. Okay. So what is this pile of paper? Well, let's just be honest. Here's a pile and then here's another pile. Okay. And, but I created that pile and then I found something when I was looking through this pile that was underneath that pile was this pile. <laughs> and that was a Tim Holtz, um, paper pad. I didn't even know I had this. And this was because my sister-in-law gave this to me for Christmas and it was other, some other, it was under some other items. And I just, I just didn't even know I had this because, you know, the holidays are a blur. Uh, I didn't know I had this. And can you imagine I could have been putting this in some of my masculine kits? I mean, look at that. Oh, I guess I got it the wrong way. Look at that. Yes. Now, uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this paper pad. And I really should not even be looking at this because if I go to the pile at the right, that's what caused that is because I found a paper pad and I was tearing it down. So I really just need to put this away and put the front cover on and say this is another, this is a project for another day. But uh, that was a happy find. So uh, when you go through piles, do you find things that you just didn't know you had? And this was one. Yes, what is it called? Dapper. So is that not perfect for masculine? I wonder if it has a year because this is something. Oh, let's see. Do we have a year? 2016. Oh, yes. I'm sure you can still get it. But there is a lot of papers on there that would be great for the masculine layouts that we always are looking for papers. So I'm going to definitely... I don't know, Janet. Move on, move on. I'm getting sidetracked. Ugh. Because that's what happened. And that's where this pile came from. Okay? Because I had this City Maps paper pad. It was in another pile. I think it was my pile to put away or maybe to inventory. It was something. And then it's just nothing but matte paper. And I thought no sense keeping it as a paper pad form. So I tore all of them out of there. And so all of these papers, except for a couple, these are all going to go in my map category. And so that's in front of my travel category, which someone had asked to see that. And I probably will show that soon. But I got asked to share my fanfare paper category. So I'll do that first. But there is one in here. Look at this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And this would be a great story-based page because it's really just like the night light, uh, nightlife when you are flying over a city. This is what you see. So I, I have a story about that. Yes, I did a solo flight one time. Uh, yes, I was really gutsy about that. Across the entire country. That was, that was pretty fun. Okay, so this is what I need to address. I need to get focused. And I have no idea what's in this pile. I know there was some load pages that happened in this. And so where do I start with this? Uh, really, you just start. So just start making piles. Here's some scraps. Here's some cardstock. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just making piles. So I'm hoping you can find something to do in your space for 15 minutes and let's get cracking. We're already down to 12, but we can add three to it. And so this goes in my cloud paper and this, oh, see, I think that was left over from the four for four baby round. 
Yes, now where will I put that? I'm putting that in wood grain. Okay, so now we got wood grain and clouds, and I know where this goes because I was playing with this not so long ago. And sometimes when I'm done with the layout and I'm too lazy, I just put it in a pile. And so this is my pile here. Okay, I probably should find a page protector. Let me see if I can grab one. Because this is what I do with my scraps is that I put them in a page protector so I don't lose them. And I do the same setup. I don't know if this one's gonna fit. No. This is the same setup I do. And I know that seems kind of crazy for putting one piece of paper in a page protector, but this is the first time I played with a kit, so I'll get more scraps as it goes. Uh, but I do the same, well, what is that? What is that? <laughs> That's an gravy. I got two sticker sheets, oh well. Uh, this is the same thing I do for every one of my collections. It's the manufacturers, it's the sticker sheet, or in this case, I added another one. I think what I did on the Say Cheese 3, I just bought the stickers. Maybe one piece of paper. And then a page protector for scraps, and then the rest of the collection. And then I put a piece of copy paper on it. So that will go in my fanfare category. So that is done, okay? I can put that to the side. Yes, okay, there's something. Okay, now what do we have here? Oh, we have a Scrabble Generations kit. Okay, where did this come from? <laughs> I don't know oh but do you want to see what a scrapbook generations kit is like this is one of their free ones y'all should show you because i don't think i'll keep this together so i will show you what a free kit from scrapbook generations and they offer this every single month uh when oh no i'm sorry this is a journey kit but uh somehow i got this free from them but they have free kits you can get every month if you have a certain uh, price point. I think over $25 and it's the first weekend of the month or something. I have the link below. Uh, so this is an actual sketch. And this is just supposed to do a double page. Interesting. Okay. But I won't keep this. No. So what I'll do is I'll hole punch this. I'll put it in my sketch. Okay, so now i got sketch and papers. But that's where that's going to go. And these will all go in my travel section card stock okay was that supposed to be three pages well i don't know it don't matter it's all going into card stock so i just opened up that kit and i tore it apart okay so now i need another page protector because i will put these in here now i do have this they give you a photocopy in their kits okay so what will i do this this really not really inspiring to me so i'm just going to chuck it so something else done. Okay, so this is going to my travel. I got fanfare going on. Okay. And so now what do we have? Oh, my favorite line by photo play. Ever, ever, ever. Yes. Like a girl. Okay, so there are my scraps. There's my stickers. Love this collection. Absolutely love, love this collection. Okay, so then this needs to get put away, and this goes in my female paper category. Okay, so there's a piece of copy paper. It's ready to be put away. So, oh, I think I have to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> that was so contrived because I normally sound like Mr. Ed when I give a sneeze, but I didn't want to sound too terrible. So, Oh, that was, jeez, <laughs> I'm going off the rails here. Okay, so really what all I have done so far is I've taken from this pile and I've made three more piles. But they're in categories, so I can put them away. Okay, where does all this go? Okay, now we're getting serious here. Come on. Okay, scraps, scraps. You see what I'm doing? This has to go in my, uh, what is that thing called? Go-to designs. Yes, so that has to go into go-to designs because I'm working on that right now. So hopefully I'll have another one of those videos coming up soon. Those videos take me about 40 hours to do. Can you believe that? So this is going in cardstock, even though it's gutted. See, I'm trying to make quick decisions. Yes, okay. Oh, that can go in. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm too lazy to put that away. I'm going to find a kit to put it in. Yeah, this looks like it goes with this cartabella, so I'm going to stick it in there. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we have, this is a story-based piece of paper. And, okay, so I got wood grain and clouds. And now I have story-based. I had another story-based. Where is it going? Where was it? I just showed it. So, yeah, I'm just taking a big pile of paper and just making it into piles that I have to put away. But, you know, it's better to have them in the piles that I use for categories. This one here. This is story-based, okay? And someone asked if I could show my story-based papers, and that is on the list. That's not story-based. Where is that going? I don't know. 
where would you put this? I don't have a rainbow section like multicolor. I don't have that. I don't have stripes. Okay, pick something. Pick something. What are we putting it in? Well, I don't have to pick a <laughs> decision. This is story based, but I don't think that's a whole 12 by 12. No, it's not. Okay, so where's this going? Oh, I'm putting it in story based. No. I'm putting that in my kids section. I think so. Have I decided anything? <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. Uh, so here we got more cardstock. See, I'm getting there. I see. I thought I had this all managed, but now I'm finding more cardstock. Oh, maybe that one with this kit. Oh, yes. See, I have a kit. I have another collection here. So, okay. Oh, it was flipped over. Oh, you see what happens. Okay. So when I'm putting papers away and I have loose papers just like this, I will find something else to put it in because I don't want to put that away. So I'm sticking it in there. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. And I think, let's see, that one would kind of go, that one would go, uh, yes. I'm going to put all those colored cardstock in there just so I don't have to put them away. Isn't that something? I think I'll put that in there too. Okay, so yeah, I took care of that. So there's something else to put away. Okay, and I just divide them with copy paper just like that. Oh, yes, okay. What time do we have? Do you think I can get this piled on? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, I got five minutes. I can do this. Yeah, I can do this. So what are you guys going on? Can you get it done in the next five minutes? Come on, let's get cracking, people. I still got to figure out something for this. Oh, man, I hate when I run across papers like that and I don't know where to put them. Because I want to get this done. I don't like having loose papers. Oh, here, do we have another collection? Oh, I think so. Okay, so there are my stickers. And here's a piece of cardstock I could throw with that, just so I don't have to put it away. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, here's a piece of black cardstock. You see what I'm doing? These ones, these uh, loose papers, I just put them in a kit so I don't have to put them away. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that's going, but that needs to put away. Okay. So there is another collection, and that is goes that goes in my Faith collection. So I got Faith, I got Little Girl, which is female. And then I have fanfare, and then I have travel. And this is going in travel, so I put that with the other one. Okay, and then cardabella. Well, this is not a hard, <laughs> I know where this goes. I have a section in my space that is just cardabella paper. And look at these papers. These were sent by the scrap room. How sweet was that? Oh, and you know what? I think I have this piece here. I think that red would kind of go, wouldn't it? Yeah, so that's going to go in. What else do I have? Oh, yeah, that could go. And I have these blue piece. That could go. I think that would match. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I do. I don't want to put these paper single sheets away, so I just find a kit or a category, and I put them in there. So there's my Carabella. Yep. So we got them done. I just got to put them away. And so this is going in my go-to designs. This is my colored cardstock. Well, not colored cardstock, but that's where it's going. Cardstock. This is my scraps. So I can just get out my scrap folder, which is right here. I even gave away a bunch of scraps, and look what I still have. Isn't that amazing? So I will put these away by color. Okay, so there's a blue one. So I'll stick the blue one in there. We got pink. Mm -hmm. And this is how quick I put my scraps away. Pink, pink, pink. And then we got multicolor. That's going in the front. And I think that was all my scraps. Look how quick that was. Absolutely. Okay, so that's done. Now let me ask you, what do you do with old calendars? I have two of these in my space. And I thought what I would do is use these and maybe make some envelopes. Uh, to send to my little girl for mail, but then you know with that then you have to make sure that you print out The addresses uh, when you use a envelope that has an image on it. So what, <laughs> You just don't want to get rid of this What do you do with these images? I don't know at one time what I used to do when my girl was little is that I would take leftover calendars and then I would take this and then I would cut it up into like puzzle pieces and then I would stick them in an envelope and then just for something fun during the day I'd give her an envelope and she'd put the 
put the puzzle together uh, for the image. But, you know, I think she's a little old for that. So what would you do with these? I don't really want to just throw them away because they're really in good shape. Especially Gilmore Girls. Yes, and I saw this right here. Fate made them mother and daughter. Love made them friends. Oh, tug at your heart. Yes, I'm going to cut that out. I think I'm going to put that somewhere. I might just make a bookmarker out of that. But look at these. What can I do with them? You know, I'm not one for putting stuff like that up on the walls. My little girl's not one for putting stuff like that on the walls. Uh, I don't know, but you could make magnets out of these. Maybe that's what I'll do. I can make magnets out of that. I think that's what I'll do. Or maybe I'll make some magnetic bookmarkers. Hmm. But anyways, give some ideas. What do you do with these old calendars that have these great images? What do you do with that? So I'm kind of stuck. I'm just kind of, I just keep putting them in one pile and then another pile because I don't know what to do with them. I don't want to throw them away. So this is going into clouds, wood grain, and these are story based. So yeah, I got that pretty much done. Other than this map pile. Oh, that paper pad was something else. And look how many pieces of map paper. And I think that was like $4 or something. It was crazy. So that's what I'll do till the timer runs out. I will get all these. And this is all maps. 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 And someone had said to me that they don't use map paper because where the places are, they've never visited. And I said, you don't have to do that. A map paper can be for any place you go, not just what's uh, specified on the map paper. So have fun with that. And then if you don't like uh, exactly what it says, you could always use it as an outer mat. And you'll still get that representation that it's a map paper. Oh, there's our timer. You still will get that representation that it's a map or streets or something like that. Uh, so you could use it as an outside mat. So yes, map papers are the best. So I'm just going to sit here and finish this pile of map paper. And I did look at the B-sides and none of them, like this right here, yeah, that does nothing for me. <laughs> so even though it's purple, but purple and glitter, that's a little much too bling bling. So all of these are just going to go in map, except one of those that's going into story based. See, really great map paper. Yes, I got that with one of my uh, Tuesday morning gift cards. Yeah, see, that does nothing for me. So, I'll map. Map, map. I thought about putting one of these in orange. What would you do? There's the, That's what the A side. There's the B side. Would you keep that as a mat? A mat. A map paper. Or, you know, that's a pretty little peach colored orange paper. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to split that up. Why not? Okay, so that's going to go into orange. So that's another one. And so there's more map, more map. And this will all go in. I have a section for map paper that's right in front of all my travel papers. Now, this is a nice blue. What's on the back side? Oh, that's interesting. So I think I will do the same thing. I'll keep one as map and one is going to go in navy blue. Because, you know, navy blue papers are hard to find. And so that's what I do sometimes if I don't know if the design is a little bit too honking for me. I will put it behind a piece of cardstock and say, oh, yeah, I could use that as an outer map mat. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I think I'm almost down to this pile. Here's some purple map. Imagine that. Map paper and purple. That would be good for this city. Mm, yes, absolutely. Okay, then we got some more. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, oh, that's a pretty, pretty green. Oh, very funny. Very funny. That looks very vintage, doesn't it? That is really nice. That was by, who was that by? DCWV. Yes, they make great papers. Okay. So there is the A, there's the B. Oh, one of each of those. Okay, here's purple. Oh, now see, I'm not crazy about this at all. Oh, I don't like those dark colors. Oh, so yeah, we're going to put them in purple. Because if I don't know what to do, I think, well, where would I get the most use? Most use, And, and also, which one would I use quicker? I would use the purple quicker than I would that other side. Because I have so many other matte paper. Now, see, that doesn't do anything for me. They're both going into matte paper. Map, map. And there's my story base. So, yes, I have another category completed. Yes. Okay. So, our 15 minutes is up. I hope you addressed a pile 
in your space. <laughs> yes, as part of our summer space shape up. So I thought I needed to adjust this pile and simply just setting that timer for 15 minutes gets you started and then you basically will complete. So once I turn this off, I will put these away to the appropriate categories and uh, my cardstock will go in my cardstock, which I absolutely did level three organizing with my cardstock. And so you'll see that in next week. So uh, pop over and see what the results were for that. Actually, I talked about that in week two, but I'll talk about in week three what I did with that. And so then these are going to go in my rainbow section, just like that. The blue with the blue. This is going to go in the orange. That's going to go in purple. Okay. And so you see how it was easier to sit here for a few minutes, put it in categories, so then when I get off my butt and go put this away, I know exactly which one, where one goes, rather than going back and forth, back and forth to my paper categories, absolutely. And so I will have a list of my paper categories below. There's a video that I talked about it. So definitely see what my paper categories are, and I will show my story-based papers coming up, and also to fanfare, someone asked to show that, so I would definitely do that. So congratulations, Vicki, to being the hidden winner in that Disney video and getting those Disney supplies. That's always fun doing a Disney page. Yes, absolutely. So stay tuned. We have a lot coming up and our four for four series, uh, the summer round, the two page layout round using a paper pad. Yes, that's coming up very, very shortly. So if you want to uh, partake in that, start thinking about some summer layouts and two pages and perhaps uh, pick out a paper pad. This is what I'm going to be using. Yes, very, very fun. Okay, so I better stop chatting and get cracking. Okay, I'm going to put all this stuff away. So have a great day. Put a smile on your face and come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to do. Bye.